Today we're going to be looking at problem solving with quadratics. Our first example is find the number. A number squared minus 4 times the number equals a negative 3. Find the number. Well, let x be the number, then x squared minus 4x equals negative 3. That's what it tells us in the problem. A number squared is our x squared. 4 times the number is 4x, and we say it's a minus, so it must be a minus, and equals a negative 3. So we're all set up, and we factor that after we take the 3 over to the left side by adding 3 to both sides. It factors quite nicely into the quantity x minus 3 times x minus 1. Setting each of those equal to 0, we find that x is 3, or x is 1. Our next problem is a picture frame has a width that is 8 inches longer than the length. The area of the frame is 48 inches squared. Let x be the width and y be the length. Well, they tell us up here that the width that is 8 inches longer than the length, so then we know x must be equal to y plus 8. We also know that the area is 48, and we know that a rectangle, we find area taking the side times the side, or the width times the length. So we have y times y plus 8, equaling 48. Going ahead and distributing that y to the y plus 8, we find it's y squared. And then y times that positive 8 is positive 8y. Subtracting the 48 to the left side. And then we go ahead and factor that quadratic, which factors quite nicely into y plus 12 times y minus 4. Setting this equal to 0, we find that y equals a negative 12, or setting this piece equal to 0, we find y is equal to 4. The answer has to be 4 because we can't have negative measurements, so negative 12 is not a solution. To find the width, we plug it in our little equation y, I'm sorry, x equals y plus 8. So since we know y is 4, we put that in here, and x equals 4 plus 8, which is 12. So the width is 12 inches, and the length is 4 inches. Our next example is find two consecutive integers whose sum is 55 less than their product. Let x be the first integer and the second integer be x plus 1. We can let it be x plus 1 because we know consecutive integers is the next integer. So by adding 1, we will get our next integer. Well, then we know x times x plus 1 equals x plus x plus 1 plus 55. Continuing to simplify, we take x times x and get x squared, and x times 1 and get x. Combining our two x's here, we get 2x, and 55 plus 1 is 56. Subtracting the 2x to the other side, we get a negative x, and subtracting the 56 to the other side, we get a negative 56. And that factors quite nicely into x minus 8 times x plus 7. Setting each piece equal to 0, we find that x could be 8, or it could be a negative 7. We have to test our solutions. 8, the consecutive integer, would be 1 more, so 8 and 9. 8 and 9 um, time, times themselves is 72, and 72 minus 17, which is the sum of 8 and 9, is 55, so that works. However, if we try doing the same thing for negative 7, it does not work. We always need to check our solutions. The next example is the Pythagorean theorem, and it states in a right triangle, the sum of the legs squared equals the hypotenuse squared. And in general, we label a right triangle's legs as AB and the hypotenuse C. So now we have the equation or the formula 
a squared plus b squared equals c squared, known as the Pythagorean theorem. We're given the example if the leg of one leg, I'm sorry, the length of one leg is one inch bigger than the length of the other leg, and the area of the triangle is 12 square inches, find the length of the two legs. Let x be the length of one leg, then x plus 1 is the length of the other. So we know x times x plus 1 equals 12. Going ahead and distributing that x, we take x times x to get x squared, and x times 1 to get x, subtracting the 12 to the other side. We're left with x squared plus x minus 12. And that factors quite nicely into x plus 4 times x minus 3. So x plus 4, the solution would be a negative 4. And of course, that doesn't work in length. We can't have negative length. x minus 3, though, the solution is 3. So it, x equals 3, and x plus 1 is 4. So the legs' lengths are 3 inches and four inches.